Who, my friend and colleague, my dear Professor Dodona, since you have left this Olympia region, I have quite enjoyed my new position as this region's main professor. Fledgling trainers have been flocking to the lab in Trickletown to get hold of their first partner Pokemon, and thank you for telling me the secret locations of Twiguana, Enbrel, and Kinfisher. Now that I know them, I will be able to provide them to the trainers of Solympia. I hope you don't mind, I also shared their secret locations with the champion friend of ours from across the sea. I say, their Pokedex entries registered 141 Pokemon. But I noticed something, Professor Dodona. You programmed this Pokedex, and you programmed it so that the last mythical Pokemon we spoke of, Scarodactyl, is number 151. Implying, of course, that there are 10 other creatures that you have identified living in this Olympia region. Tomorrow, I'll be heading to Kakariko's town to meet with Odias. He is overseeing the repair of the gym and is turning it into some kind of battle tower. I shall sail out there to see if he knows anything. If anyone knows anything, it'll be him. I wonder if the challenger from Off Island saw or heard anything on their adventure. It's a shame. I have no way to know if they're still on Solympia right now or not. Wish me luck, Dodona. Your friend, Professor Lawrence. My dear friend Dona, what an exciting few days it has been. A week ago, I left Trickletown, and while cutting through the Elderwood Forests, word came down from Atherin City of a great wooden horse that has emerged from the ocean. The residents woke up in the morning, and there it was. At first, I wondered if this could have been a Pokemon, but it's far bigger than any Rapidash or Centurion. Reports describe it as an inanimate object, but distinctly mention an unsettling feeling when being around it. I had to head out there, of course, and I met up with Arya, and would you believe it, the champion! They are still here! When we approached the horse, the Pokedex pinged, and it seems that you've already put some information in here about it. This is, as far as I can tell, number 143, Beta. A dark grass Pokemon? The locals were murmuring, saying it was a great gift from Solympia, but then there were these vines inside that started wreathing around inside. It began to glow and attacked the city. A natural green plant started sprouting everywhere, as if it was carrying some sort of parasite. Nothing that Arya and the champion couldn't handle, of course, but this Pokemon was as strong as any legendary I've ever seen. What is this creature, and why does it appear now? Tomorrow, the champion will escort me through the Elderwoods Forest, and we'll make our way to Kakarios Town. I need answers. Dodona, my dear friend. I really wish you hadn't left without telling me about all this. Clearly you knew something about these Pokémon. Last night we were ambushed by a group of creatures in the Elderwoods. I sat around the campfire with our dearest champion and we spoke of the horse Pokémon and its primordial power. And there in the woods the rocks began to shift and suddenly we were surrounded by creatures that the Pokédex registered as number 144, Kappa. This creature first seemed to be offering us that we go with it somewhere, but I felt a cold chill up my spine. When we seemed hesitant, they attacked. The champion and I fought side by side. I counted six of them that disappeared into the river. What are these strange Pokemon? And why is this happening now? We currently sail onwards to Kakarios Town. Dodona, what a revelation! I have met with Odias, and he said that last night he too was attacked by two unfamiliar Pokemon on the beach of Kakarikos. Two strangers in black robes approached him, and before he knew it, they had transformed into Pokemon. As he described them, I was able to access the data for number 146 and 147 in the Pokedex. The first of these is Epsilon, a dark fire type oozing with red light. The other is Upsilon, a dark ghost type glowing with a purple light. At first, I wouldn't have believed his description, but it wasn't just him. When I arrived here on Kakarikos, I looked out upon the water and I heard a song. It was beautiful and tantalizing. Out on the rocks in the ocean, I saw well, what I thought to be was a woman, beautiful and singing. I was about to wade out into the water and then... I was overcome with dread, and my Pokedex beeped, snapping me out of it, and registered yet another of these creatures, number 145, Sigma. It then showed its true form. She screamed at me, enraged, and dived back into the waters. 
Beta, Kappa, Sigma, Epsilon, Upsilon, what are these creatures? All of them register as the primordial Pokemon. Their names are so strange, and they're all the dark type with the primal flow ability. When we were attacked by the Kappas, I believe I saw this ability in action. They seem to be more powerful in groups. Odias is searching the old radio tower at the gym. It was filmed with many books and notes about the region's history, although much of it has been lost since the renovations began. I will see what I can find. Wish me luck, Dodona. One hundred years. There was, in ancient times, a 100-year tempest, or so the documents say. Have you ever wondered why it was so long? It seems that the tempest of Titophons often caused the opening of whirlpools, chasms into something below Olympia's oceans. One such tempest started in history, and the primordials emerged. But two in particular worked together. With their primal flow ability, they boosted each other's powers, and ruled over the region in ancient times for 100 years. The first of these two is number 149. This is Delta, a dark dragon Pokemon, whose stare is said to be able to turn anyone or anything to stone. It is thought that this Pokemon ruled from the under passage that connects Kakarikos to the Nightmare Island. From there, it would take brave heroes who wandered into its lair to try and stop it and turn them to stone. It was especially difficult for anyone to stop it in ancient times because this Pokemon was not alone, and heroes much like our new traveling champion were few and far between because of a sense of fear created by number 148, Gamma. Thought to be the mind of the primordials, it exudes radiation, causing people to act out of character, making them live in fear and tossing their own Pokeballs into the ocean. Gamma and Delta led the primordials for 100 years, until they were stopped and sent back into the ocean. And these Pokemon, this description, the mind of the primordials, and this primal flow ability, it powers them up when they're together, which gives me a hypothesis. What if these Pokemon are all part of one larger being? Pokedex entries for Lagaladon and Thundra speak of a great creature in ancient times, stopped and split apart. It is thought, perhaps, that this is where Titophon is from. All of these Pokemon represent different kinds of elemental powers. Perhaps causing the Tempest, Titophon, who is also a dark type, much like these primordials, is trying to spin the oceans open to allow something from below to rise. For now, our champion friend from across the seas has gone off to try and stop the primordials and catch them. Hopefully they can stop Gamma and Delta if they're out there. But I just hope, surely, they are the worst of it. However, Scaredactyl, as I said before, is number 151. Meaning we're missing at least one Pokemon. Whatever it is, I do hope we can stop it. Wish us luck, Dodona.